Well, navigating a world with artificial intelligence, it is all the talk right now, and school leaders in Seminole County signing off on some new rules before kids head back to class. News 6 reporter Catherine Silver explains when it's banned and what could happen if a student gets caught. It's in almost every industry, in everything we do. With artificial intelligence, you can get almost instant results whenever you want. Siri can tap into ChatGPT's expertise. With Apple's newest update, every iPhone will have ChatGPT automatically integrated. It's clear this technology is popular, but what is its place in the classroom? When we saw the evolution of ChatGPT uh, coming about, as soon as we started realizing, like, oh, trying to block this stuff is never going to be the answer, um, then we have, have to start having conversations with students about how do we lean into this. We met with Sean Gard Harold at Seminole County Public School headquarters before the board signs off on a new code of conduct in honor code. Using AI for a test or assignment without permission will be prohibited. So if a student uses AI-generated work and they don't cite it or it wasn't permitted, What's the consequence? So the consequence is the same it is as it is any time with plagiarism. If they plagiarize, they could have anything from, you know, a opportunity to resubmit the assignment all the way to, you know, potential suspension or even worse. Apps like ChatGPT are free and easy to use, almost too easy, which is why the school district wants students to use AI ethically. For example, we can ask for an essay on William Shakespeare, and within seconds, it's there. It's this kind of work without credit that the school district is trying to avoid. We are not saying let's hide from AI, let's run from AI. We're really working on um, helping our students and our teachers to understand that we live in a world where AI is also going to live. Seminole County students are already studying AI technology. Welcome to our AI lab. We got an inside look at the lessons at Crooms Academy when our new six team hit the road in Sanford. When I meet with uh, healthcare professionals, when I meet with advanced manufacturing uh, folks, when I meet with folks from um, finance, AI is in all of those industries. And if our students don't understand that it is going to impact whatever field they choose to enter, um, then they're going to be behind the times. And so it's our job to make sure that they know how to use artificial intelligence. In Seminole County schools, that means looking at AI as a starting point to build upon. If it's already changing the world, we have to change with it. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6. So we want to know, do you think there should be more safeguards with AI in schools? 90% mm. of you said yes. Share your thoughts inside this story on ClickOrlando.com.